Hi, my name is Tim Tobias. I'm the fisheries tech for Vilas County. Today we did our netting survey on Trout Lake, which includes running fike nets and then do the tagging process and measure the fish. We're looking at collecting length information and we're looking for fin clips. We also are doing a population estimate on the spawning grounds. We're also tagging fish. We're using a couple different kinds of tags. We're using a Floyd tag, which is a numbered tag that anglers can see. So if you happen to catch a fish, we'd have that information available at our office. And then if there's an associated fin clip with that fish, we can give you an age of it. And that's 7109. When we're doing this pit tag, we'll also get an idea. This is our first time we've done the pit tags yep. on Lake Trout. And we can get an idea of tag loss too, because we have some of these tests. Most of the fish are going to be Floyd tag also. Yep. 066. Yep. Wes Jans was the initiator of the lake trout program. He got the lake trout on the map. Uh, we looked at genetic testing to see that these fish are unique strains. Um, we decided that you need to manage these fish a little bit more uniquely than other species just because of the longevity of them. We are catching fish today that are anywhere from 12 years old to potentially up to almost 35 years old. So it's a very fragile resource. They're growing slowly. So we think they need a little more protection than your other, other fisheries. We have a high size limit of 30 inches, which restricts a lot of the harvest in the lake. But yet we want to build a population level so anglers can enjoy catching a fish, maybe catching a fish that'll be a memorable size fish, um, something you can take a picture of. But then you also have the opportunity, if you do catch a larger fish, a trophy-sized fish to harvest that fish.